Boys, we are finally getting to work on the Evo. But before we get into today's video, let's go ahead and give you guys a quick rundown slash breakdown of all the cars I have right now and what's going on to each of them. So the only car in the garage right now is my wide body FRS. If you guys haven't paid attention, we installed a brand new custom turbo kit onto this car, look at that. We got a turbo in there now. This thing is insane. We're gonna get it tuned in about a few days, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully by next week, we can have this thing on the road and driving. I've done nothing but cosmetic mods to this car, and I'm pretty happy to say that we got some performance mods in there, finally. So this thing is just sitting here until it can get tuned, and then the next project I have is my pink and purple Nissan S13. This is gonna be my drift car. And here she is right here in pieces. The front bumper's off. I had to take it off for some purpose that I forgot about. And the side skirts also. But we got this new livery on it. That's Sailor Moon. In case you guys don't know, my little anime crush right there is going to be the car that I'm going to be taking to the tracks and sliding. It has some work CR Kai's on it. Uh, full wide body. We have Origin over fenders, front and rears. Origin body kit. 180SX Koki taillights. This thing is pretty sick if you ask me. Look at that paint fade though, it looks killer. And then of course we got my Evil 8 that was my daily until I started driving my girlfriend's car around. <laughs> this thing has been sitting here for a month now. I haven't touched it because I've been too busy with the FRS but today we're getting started on it. And if you take a look you'll notice one thing that's different. Can you guys guess what it is? It's the freaking wheels. We took off the Conseys and slapped it on the FRS just so we can have wheels to roll the FRS around. And we picked up these Gram Lights 57 DRs. If you guys are a long time subscriber, then you guys will recognize these wheels because these went on my white S2000 project. I went ahead and hit up the new owner, bought the wheels back, and I slapped them on the car. But don't worry, this blue with this red orange does not mix at all. So today we're gonna go ahead and refinish these mag blue wheels. Overall, the Evo is pretty clean and this thing is pretty fast too. I think before I get the FRS tuned, this might be my fastest car. This is definitely faster than the FRS stock and I think it should be faster than the S13. Oh wait, I have one more important, very important announcement to make for y'all. I think you guys are gonna love this. This Saturday at 1 p.m. I will be launching my official new clothing slash merch line, mislabeled. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna be dropping. This isn't even all of it, this is just some of it. We got racing t-shirts designed based off of the Evo out there. Look at that, that looks so sick. We got the Evos on the 57DRs, and as y'all can see, that does not look like mag blue. Which is why we're changing the color today. I've been planning on doing this for a while, but I haven't gotten the chance to do it. And these have a little oversized fit, so it looks super sick. Oh, you know what? I'm wearing them right now. Let me show you guys. So this is the racing shirt in white, and as y'all can see, it looks pretty good. It has a lot of room around the arms and shoulders, so it's not tight and slim fitting. It has the nice streetwear fit, and I freaking love it. So make sure you guys check this shirt out. And then, we also made it available in this hoodie. And this hoodie, I swear to you guys, literally super comfortable and fits super nice. It's so soft and not too thick to where you can work out in it and wear it like every day. So. That's also available in both black and white. Next up, we have the super nice and simple mislabeled shirt. These are just one bold design in the front and they're gonna be available in a bunch of colors. We got green, purple, brown, black, cream. The black is in here so I can't show you guys. And then last but definitely not least, we have these hoodies with the pink and purple S13 and my Corgi drift in it. Look at that, this looks so sick. It says Toge style right here and then in the front, it says mislabeled and then mislabeled in kanji also. So all of this will be dropping this Saturday at one on my website, projectmislabeled.com. So stay tuned for that. So guys, please, this Saturday, check out the website, see if you guys would like anything from this drop and make a purchase so I can continue to do all these cool stuff to the cars. All right, enough talking, let's get into today's video. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jack up the Evo and take off the wheels so we can prep it for paint. Oh look, Kirby's right here. What's up man? What's up? Shout out to AutoZone for these rusty ass lugs. All 
Alright boys, we got the wheels off of the car now. Now in case you guys are wondering, these are 18 by 9.5 plus 22 offset. So these are your typical Evo slash Subi spec wheels. Nothing fancy, but today we're going to give them a nice custom look because these don't come in a formula silver type of color. But today we're going to go ahead and paint them silver. Alright, so let's get these wheels prepped up. Now you have two options. You can either sand them with sandpaper or scuff them with a scotch Brite pad. I decided to scuff up mine because I think it's a lot easier and you get the same results. Let me show you guys what that scotch Brite looks like. It comes in a box like this or a small pack if you guys don't want to buy it in bulk. But it's just Pro Scuff Color Prep Gray Pad. Super simple. You just take it and you just rub it onto the surface and then it gets dull like that. Sorry for all of you Mag Blue fans out there. Rip, rip, rip. Check it out, I think after about 40 minutes we got the whole entire set of wheels all prepped up. Super super matte, so that means we scuffed it up real nice. Got the back all sanded too and I went ahead and rinsed this with soapy water and gave it a nice little scrub so now we are ready to go. Let's head over to an auto parts store and pick up some paint so we can start spraying. Okay, which one, which one? Ultra Silver Metallic. There's two of these. The rest only has one can of each, so I guess we're going with this one. And we gotta grab some clear coat. And of course, some primer. You got a project going? Yeah, just a few cans. The total is going to be 97, 93. There you go, thank you very much. Okay, perfect, thank you. So the total for primer, base coat, and clear coat, it was just under 100 bucks. Not bad at all. So we finally made it back from the parts store, and I know you guys are wondering, Derek, why the heck did you buy spray paint instead of using your real professional paint and spraying from a gun? Well, I wanted to show you guys that you guys can mod your car and do all this at home without any special equipment in case you don't have a compressor, in case you don't have a spray gun. You could do it all with auto parts store stuff and still get good results and speaking of good results i spent the past two hours taping up these fucking wheels never again will i mask off wheels for paint i'm gonna just send it to the tire shop and get the tires dismounted two freaking hours to get this whole set of wheels all masked up but guys it's getting late now i think it's like 10 22 so we're gonna go ahead and get to spray in. I already went ahead and wiped down everything. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some adhesion promoter just to make sure the paint sticks and then we'll spray our primer. Look how tired Kirby is. She's just been chilling with me the whole entire day just watching me do car stuff. That's for real, for real, my best friend right there. So make sure to buy some merch so I can spend some money on her and get her some more toys and treats for the shop. Right Kirby? This is just a generic brand of adhesion promoter. You can use any Bulldog works great, but this is what I have, so we're gonna use it. Just a tiny bit of this will do wonders, guys. Trust me. This could be the difference between your paint chipping off when you're using the pressure washer versus not, so make sure to use this.
we got some good news and some bad news. So the good news is we got the primer pretty much sprayed out. It looks freaking amazing. Look at that. It laid down pretty smooth. No drips or anything. But the bad news is as I was spraying the primer, where's the can? As I was spraying the primer, I noticed that it was running out, so I went ahead and just used it on the face of the wheels. So the barrel isn't fully covered at all, but that's going to be okay because you don't see the barrel much. And I think the base coat will go ahead and cover that, but most importantly, we got the faces covered. I'm kind of stupid for only buying one can of primer sealer. I thought this would be enough, but your boy was wrong. But let's go ahead and spray the base coat and see how it looks. As y'all saw before, this is just silver metallic. Hopefully this ends up being nice and looks close to formula silver because that's exactly the look that we're going for. Okay, I don't think you guys were able to see the difference when I sprayed the base coat, but now after a few coats, dude, it looks freaking sick. Look at that. Oh my god, this looks even better than Formula Silver. It's way more metallic. Here, let me shine a flashlight so y'all can see. Look at that. Oh, I know you guys see that sparkling. This is so crazy. I'm in love with this color, to be honest. See, I told y'all, bro. Spray cans aren't so bad as long as you do them properly. Okay, we went ahead and let this dry for about 20-30 minutes. Let's top it off with some satin clear and then we can finally let this thing dry overnight and slap it on the car tomorrow morning. Okay, this clear says matte, but it's coming out really shiny, so hopefully it dries matte. Like, look at that. That's pretty glossy if you ask me. I guess we'll find out if matte clear is cap or not. Alright boys, it is now the next day. I got my homie Thomas here. We're gonna shoot some stuff for the merch. Let's go ahead and go in and see how the wheels turned out. I'm so excited to see if this thing is actually a matte finish or not. Bro, Thomas. What's up? When I was spraying the wheels, for some reason, after I sprayed the clear, I kid you not, bro, it was like glossy. And so I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sitting here like, what? Isn't this supposed to be matte? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, here we go, boys. Oh, shit. Bro, it's actually matte. Ooh. Dude, that's so sick. Ooh, wow, that thing is sad. Oh, my God, dude, that looks so freaking sick. Thomas, what you think? These look good, man. You like the silver? Yeah, these look good. To be honest, I've never been a fan of silver wheels, but these, these might change my mind. All right, let's get these unwrapped and everything, and then we can slap them on. <laughs> Look at that, we got it all unmasked. Dude, this looks so freaking good. I'm so hyped to put this thing on the car and I'm kind of glad I took my time to mask it off because there's no paint at all on the tires or on the valve stem or anything. Super hyped for that. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and slap these on the Evo already. We're gonna pull it in and get rid of the temporary beater wheels. <laughs>
Oh my god, the silver looks so good with the red. Dude, this looks fire. Oh my god, dude. I'm so happy I went with this instead of the mag blue. What you think, Thomas? It looks pretty good. So it looks go silver. It's like subtle, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm so hyped. Next thing I'm gonna do is definitely lower this car. But we're gonna do that after the winter because it's gonna snow here pretty soon. And your boy wants to be a little functional. Look at that. Oh my god, that looks so good. The silver, I think, is gonna go well with the next color of this car too. That's why I went with silver. My first choice with this color would be white. But white's not gonna necessarily go with the next new color for the Evo, so that's why we went with the silver. Okay, we're losing a lot of daylight already. Let's pull this thing out and show you guys what it looks like. Dude, I can't even lie. This looks so freaking good. Silver and red. Chef's kiss, bro. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video right here. I don't know if I'll be able to go ahead and shoot some rollers tonight, but if I do, that'll be a special addition to this vlog. So we shall see. If not, I'll be for sure to shoot some rollers in the next video. But like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, the drop is this Saturday. Wait. You guys are probably watching this on Saturday. It's today at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at projectmislabeled.com. Come support your boy so I can keep doing fun stuff on this channel because if you guys don't know yet, I dropped out of college. So I can go ahead and pursue this and continue to keep making fun content for y'all. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for all the support I've gotten. Until next time, peace out.